All right, Tara, thank you so much. You know, an interesting exhibit is now open at the University of Dayton Library. It is called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, illustrated by Spanish surrealist artist Salvador Dali. And joining me is English professor Dr. Margaret Strain on the end and university archivist Jennifer Brancato. Ladies, thank you for being here to talk about this. First, Jennifer, let's start with you. Uh, why, why now with this, with this show? Well, it's the 150th anniversary of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, so we're displaying two of the books. We have the first American edition, as well as the 1969 illustrated Dolly edition on display. And the 69 edition was recently donated by Stuart and Mimi Rose at the end of our rare book exhibit from last year. So the show is just as much about Alice in Wonderland as it is about Salvador Dali's uh, illustrations put with it in the later the later years. Yes. Um, Margaret, let's talk about let's get let's look at some of these images of Dali's. One um, is called Advice from a Caterpillar. Advice, uh, f yeah, from Caterpillar. Talk to us about what Dali does that adds to the story that we all know and love, which is Alice in Wonderland. Well, the original uh, illustrator for um, Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass was a political cartoonist by the name of John Tenniel. And his renderings are fairly realistic. Um, the, uh, he does add some human aspects to um, some of his fantastic creatures like legs and arms and, and faces onto his animals. Um, but what Dolly does is he takes, I think, to heart the fact that Alice wakes up at the end of both stories feeling as though she's had dreams about these fantastic creatures. And I think um, what Dolly does is, is he is very much fascinated with dreams and right. the, the sometimes slippery edge between dream and um, re waking life. So. In the caterpillar, for example, you see a fairly um, realistic rendering of a green caterpillar above or sitting on um, uh, the mushroom. But then you also see this fantastic uh, green, red, and blue caterpillar that is larger than life and kind of just looming over, much like you would in a dream where time and space sort of play tricks on us. Right, I've heard them call Dolly the ultimate explorer of daydreams in dreaming, and we certainly see that here. Talk to us a little bit about, I mean, when you really think about, when you watch uh, Alice in Wonderland and read the book, it's a pretty interesting, there's some interesting ideas going on there. Um, why do you think, you said 150 years we're celebrating now, why is it still so popular? And I mean, it is a classic. Either, either one, chime in. I think there's a couple of reasons. Number one, because um, we continue to enjoy wordplay. And that is one thing that um, uh, Lewis Carroll was. He was a logician, a mathematician, but he also liked the fun that one could have with, with words. So that appeals to both children, I think, on some level, as well as adults. And the second is that it's told, the story is always told from a child's, in this case, a little girl's point of view. And, and that hasn't changed. Well, you can see it from Dolly's point of view as well. If you'd like to visit, uh, the, you'd like to see more, the illustrations will be on display now through August 16th at the Resch Library's first floor gallery. And the good news is it is free of charge to check that out. Very interesting. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today to talk about it. Thank you. All right, so to come on